We are all sinners, okay? And God knows before you even think it, you're going to sin. Every day you sin. And the church is not a for a museum of saints. If it was for a museum of saints, there would be no church. It's for a museum of, 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 of it is for sinners. Sinners go to, go to, to church. Oh no, and no, 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 the church is for the body. All the church is for the body of Christ. No what? And the church we is for the body of Christ. We are not even to accuse anybody so, of anything. Oh, you're wrong right there. Do you know why? You're wrong right there. God never. You, you see the lady goes to the well and the people was calling her hard and so yeah. forth like that. Yeah. And he said to the, the person, those who was calling her. Anybody without sin has right. the first But what did he say to the lady? Say, what did he say after? She, she, she said, what did he say after? Go thy way and sin no more. No more. There you go. God's heart. Yes. God's heart. But he didn't accuse God just sin. revealed to you his heart. He never accused Go and sin no we more. We must not accuse anybody. God wants anything. to forgive you. God is the God one. God wants to forgive you. But do you want God's, God's grace? But listen, if you want God wants you was to... to um, do you to, want God's grace? Hold on. If God wants you to... Go to church and and do what he said. Yeah. But he give everybody his own mind to think. But he give you a Bible. Okay. The Bible is okay. there. Okay. It, it have good and bad. That's the only okay. one. The Bible's got good and bad. And it's good and bad. We talk about the Bible. Hold on. Say about the church. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. The Bible does not have good and bad. That. Okay. And it says the Bible's written by God. Just you just said I, had good and bad. Okay. Okay. So it's written about people. Yeah. The people who were with it. It that says that you, we are all sinners. We come short of the earth. That's Lord why he is saying is is, is um, son, Jesus. Son. Okay. Okay. But but you sin in thought, word, and deed. Even if you look at people and say bad things about them, you sin. Okay. Okay. And you have to pray and say, Lord, I have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved thee with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves, but we are supposed to love everybody. And what did Jesus we come tell his disciples to do? White and black is this, come from one vine. Go and bring the sinners in. One vine. But he said go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Sisters and brothers, gospel. it come from Abraham. the mother, you, you know, God, mother can Africa. Can answer, that's answer, where God. the mother come from. And that's why everybody call Africa mother Africa. I, I think you need okay. the mic now. I think you need you the mic now. Okay. Buy and you my friend, my friend, can I can I just answer what some of you said here? No, no. The problem is the problem is the relationship with sin. This is the problem now. Okay, but well, hold on. My relationship with sin is not the same as a saint as as, as a sinner's relationship with sin. Okay, so you now say we all sin, but me being in Christ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me being in Christ. The Bible says that God has separated me from the world unto himself. Now when you come into Christ, not only are you cleansed from your sin, but God transforms your attitude and your relationship to sin. Okay? If you love sin, hold on now. If you love sin and you're committed to your sin, you are not, you are not a Christian. Okay? You are a sinner. You are a sinner. You have not been saved from your sin. If you love your sin, and if you are committed to your sin, you are a sinner that has not been saved. When God saves you, He pulls you out of your state of sin, He pardons you, and He sanctifies you, and He gives you His heart. Do you have the heart of God that hates sin? Do you have the heart of God that hates sin? What is your relationship with sin right now? Do you hate sin and love righteousness? I hate sin, but we sin Does sin have dominion over you? Right the Bible says sin shall not have dominion over right you if you're in Christ. Right now you're sinning. I'm not sinning because I've judged my own life. I just my brother, yes. Yes. Mother Africa, my brother, let me explain to you something. No country made me, no country created me. No country created me, God created me, not a country. You see, I didn't come from a country. My life came from God Almighty, not a country. No country created me. And when I die, I go back to where I come back. from, my come Creator. Hallelujah. Deal with it. Hallelujah. Don't have to die in accident. God you know something? The most people that criticize you, the religious people, because they're religious, you know, and they always come and they always criticize, like the Pharisees and the scribes. They always come to criticize the Lord Jesus Christ. These are the words of Jesus. Jesus said, "Repent, or you shall all likewise perish." 
What does that mean, friend? That's coming from the mouth of Jesus. So you said, and Jesus said, unless a man is born again of the Spirit, he cannot. Okay. Okay, what did the prophet say? What did prophet Jesus say? What did, what did prophet Jesus say? Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Why are you asking to see the Father? And he said, I've been with you so long. I've been with you so long. Yes, brothers and sisters. We need to understand something. We can run from God and we cannot hide from God. Because one day, whether you believe or you don't believe, you will have to bow and you will have to confess, Jesus, you are Lord. It doesn't matter if you're a pope, a president, a king, a queen, rich, old, Muhammad, whoever you want to be, you will have to bow one day and you will have to confess, Jesus, you are Lord. Let it not be too late, too late it's going to be the cry. Because the word of God declares this. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And if your name is not in the book of life, you will be cast into the lake of fire. That is the second death. So you can justify yourself, friend. All have sinned and come short of God's glory. Jesus Christ, the righteous, gave himself for you so that you can live and so that I can live. But we're living in a world today, the world is exactly like Sodom and Gomorrah. They're calling right, wrong and wrong, right.